Breaking Travel News, London at the Arabian Travel Market in Dubai, talking about Etihad. And uh, what's it mean, Martin, to be out and about in public with events like this? It's great. It's great just to, just to get out of the house. It's uh, And as I think you can see, there's a, a lot of excitement with people here at ATM. You know, the first major uh, event in the industry, in-person event. So, uh, uh, you know, I think I've been really, really pleased to see how many people are here. And there's real excitement for people that are here that are able to you know, finally start engaging with people face to face, which is obviously something that the industry is, is hoping is going to something, a, a practice we're going to start seeing across the world. So therefore, obviously, it means that, you know, business travel starts to return. And looking at Stan, people walking around from your, your team with uh, uniforms on, which says wellness. So give us a quick overview of your wellness program. Yeah, so the wellness program is something we launched, launched um, last year in, uh, in July. Um, it's, uh, it's something where I think we've re Etihad really set itself apart. Obviously, it's about us creating um, a, a whole proposition which means that we want to give the guest absolute peace of mind that when they travel with us that their safety of course which is absolutely paramount to us is is protected um, so the wellness program there's all sorts of sort of elements that come as part of that um, what we do is of course it's the sanitization the disinfecting of course of of the aircraft but also as well what we've done is minimize the number of touch points on board the aircraft also as well through the airport experience. In addition, the, we have wellness ambassadors. So these ambassadors, we have a 24 seven service that's available online, where it means that the guests can come forward with any questions, any concerns they have, questions as it relates to what are the restrictions at the destination I'm traveling to, any questions they have as it relates to uh, the service that we provide. But importantly as well, we also have the wellness ambassadors on each of our flights. So these are individuals that are there to ensure that all the protocols are followed and to really ensure that uh, uh, each of our guests have the, uh, the safety and the, the, the quantity they need. Air carriers around the world all operate some sort of wellness service on board, I suppose, or safety uh, service before taking off and with passengers. How does your stand above others? Yeah, so I mean, I, there's, there's lots of things where I think we've gone that extra mile. You're right, there are other airlines that are offering this sort of service. As I said, the Wellness Ambassador is a, is a unique offering from our part. In addition to that as well, we're, we're the only airline in the world, and we've had this since August of last year, that were insistent on 100% PCR testing at both ends. So again, just about creating that peace of mind about the absolute safety uh, that we have on board our aircraft. Now, moving away from the passenger side, one of your areas of responsibility is cargo. Cargo has been very, very important for the uh, fighting of the pandemic. What's Etihad been doing in, in that perspective? Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, I think for any uh, combination passenger and cargo airline, cargo, and it's very much uh, applicable at, uh, at Etihad, has become a lifeline for the airline. Um, and this is something I think that will continue throughout the rest of this year and probably beyond. Um, I think as a result of the of the uh, passenger demand that obviously we saw go into decline as a result of the pandemic and the slower return than we would like, um, it does mean that cargo, uh, the whole sort of market conditions are being very much fueled by a, a lack of supply from a capacity standpoint. Of course, pre-COVID, um, about 50% of global air freight travelled in the in the belly of a passenger aircraft. So of course, when you had the vast majority of the passenger aircraft grounded it meant there was a massive amount of cargo capacity that came out of the market and of course it's going to we're going to see a slow return in terms of that capacity so for etihad cargo has always been an important part of our business but as i said has become even more important now and is a real lifeline for the airline of course what we witnessed last year was a massive amount of demand for the di distribution of ppe be it face masks ventilators uh, you know as relates to medical equipment um, and now what we're seeing is the global distribution of the the vaccine as well yeah, yeah. Over and above that, you've seen other verticals in the cargo world, such as e-commerce, which of course you've got people in lockdown, people are now buying a lot more online. Um, so that continues to fuel cargo demand. And as I said, cargo uh, for Etihad has is, is really become a, a lifeline for the airline. So a positive note there for you. And to finish off, we're at this event, as, you know, as we started off, it's great to meet people in person. Where do you hope us to be in a year's time, in the next ATM yeah. 2022? Well, I think, look, we're already seeing some positive signs in terms of, I mean, I think we know that it's going to be the leisure segment that's going to come back first. Uh, it's VFR. We're seeing positive signs in terms of destinations such as the Maldives, in terms of the Seychelles, where we're seeing a lot of demand. Um, some of those VFR routes in terms of for the subcontinent, we were seeing a lot of growth there. 
obviously things have been somewhat curtailed because of the, the, the sad sort of uh, situation we see there in particular in India. But I think as we continue to progress through this year, with the advances being made in terms of the vaccination programmes in various countries, of course, the UAE is one country that's leading the way in that regard. And as we start to see vaccine corridors being created, as we're now seeing Abu Dhabi create vaccine corridors with countries such as Greece, Serbia, um, uh, Israel, um, and restrictions in general being lifted, that's when we'll start to see demand. So I think this time next year, we'll be in a lot better price. I think still business travel is going to take some more time to recover. Um, but I think that uh, you know, there are some really positive signs there, and this time next year we'll be in a, a much stronger position, I have no doubt. Well, Martin, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time and those very valuable insights into Etihad and also the industry as a whole. Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.